pure calcium nitrate crystals are shiny and crystalline in appearance. What you're looking at right now is a sample of hydrated calcium nitrate where the crystals still have water in them. While heating gently, you should use a smaller flame by lowering the gas flow. When you wish to heat strongly, you can then increase the gas flow to increase the flame intensity. We will first begin the heating by switching to a smaller flame for gentle heating. The purpose of gentle heating is to force all of the water of crystallization out of the calcium nitrate crystals and is the first step towards performing thermal decomposition. When you first gently heat calcium nitrate, you're actually forcing the water of crystallization out of the compound. Notice how this water ends up dissolving the crystals and you end up boiling a very concentrated solution of calcium nitrate. Notice the water droplets that condense on the sides of the test tube. If we carry on the process of gentle heating, we will eventually force all of the water of crystallization out of the compound. And this is the anhydrous form of calcium nitrate. Notice how there is still some water that is being forced out of the compound. Gentle heating should continue until all of the water vapour has escaped the test tube. Once you see that the bubbling is stopping, it shows that all of the water has been forced out of the calcium nitrate crystals. You can then proceed to strong heating. As you heat the anhydrous calcium nitrate, you will notice that this time round, it really does melt. And as it melts, it decomposes. After a short few moments of strong heating, you will start to notice a brown gas that forms. Do not be alarmed. This is the nitrogen dioxide gas that's being formed. We will now test for the presence of oxygen gas. Prepare a glowing splint and place the glowing end of the splint into the test tube near where the decomposition is occurring. Notice how the oxygen relights the glowing splint. Perform the oxygen gas test first before proceeding to the NO2 test. While the brown colour of the gas is still there, the NO2 is still present, so you need not worry about the gas escaping too fast for you to perform a litmus test. Notice how the NO2 gas is very dense and stays within the test tube for an extended period of time. You may take your time to prepare your moist litmus paper samples to test for the presence of an acidic NO2 gas. If you notice that the brown colour of the gas has dissipated, do not worry. Carry on the strong heating process and you will start to see the brown colour gas reform. Place a moist blue litmus paper near the mouth of the test tube to test for the presence of an acidic nitrogen dioxide gas. Notice how the blue litmus paper turns red. You should repeat the litmus test, but this time using a moist red litmus paper. Notice how it remains red. This shows that there is no alkaline gas present in the decomposition products. Once you're done heating, turn off the flame, let the test tube cool and make further observations of the solid that remains within the test tube. 